Good morning, it's Farmer MD here. We've got uh, a load of lime that we're going to be spreading today. Uh, I'd like to think I can get another load down here uh, before I'm done. So we've got a pile of 24 ton here to uh, put out. We're going to be spreading about a ton to the acre. I've got a 8 foot, I mean an 8 foot, 16 foot, 8 ton Baron and Brothers spreader that we'll be using. Uh, we've got the John Deere 6115 with the loader on it. Uh, dual spinners. Uh, PTO driven uh, on this on this particular spreader. Uh, no hydraulic. Uh, driven. It's all PTO driven. So, uh, it won't take us too long to get this done today. Uh, but I've got a uh, field here putting a ton to the acre. This, uh, this load is not enough to do the field. As I said, hope to get another load this afternoon uh, before we're done here today. So, uh, we'll see what happens. All right. to give you a couple of different views here so as you can see the tunneling with the lime that's one of the issues with uh, spreading damp lime is if you dump the lime uh, into the spreader too hard uh, or if you um, are traveling with the spreader loaded too far where it settles and shakes and packs down it will start to bridge in the center there uh, and so we'll uh, sometimes have to get a shovel or just jump up and down and break that bridge so the line will continue falling down. Uh, but 
so far it's okay towards the back side. It's still spreading in the back. I think uh, this will fall down, but we'll see. Uh, but I'll give you a little bit of a view from this angle. safer view in here. I've got it mounted on the back glass of the tractor inside the cab. Uh, I always get a good mount on the glass. You can see it. Well, maybe you didn't see it that time because of the turn. start to fall down inside of there. As long as I see dust coming out of the back end, I know it has not bridged uh, so bad that it's not coming out. And there you can see it falling down.
probably plant corn on this farm. Uh, we're going to, uh, I sprayed it last week, or maybe it was two weeks ago now, I can't remember. We put some Vermoxone and 2,4-D on here to kill what was here. Uh, we'll probably come back with a disc and disc it up before we uh, plant corn here. I've just got, uh, it's just not smooth enough for me to no-till the corn into it. We've got a few ruts that we left um, last year. So I just want to level those out, smooth the field up some. Yeah.